This is your broken news. Seen all the baby fawns with the spots and the wobbly legs? Oh yeah, tis, my yard. Tis the season. It's not. I just want to give them a hug and feed oh. them some food. And... Well, don't do that. Oh, but they're so cuddly. Well, their mom might reject them then. Well, then I could just take them up to the Forest Service. They'll take care of it, right? They were saying that they don't want to accept any of those fawns anymore. They don't want to raise them because you know they're not wild then and. Uh, they were just talking about telling the people just take them home or they'll euthanize them. Leave the fawns alone. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to the 68th episode of The Broken News. I'm Justin Harris. And I'm Cody Best and it's a beautiful day in Sanders County, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes it is. And of course, we are looking to make your day a bit brighter by bringing you some important and interesting stories. Such as coverage of last Friday and Saturday's highly visible and attended Countywide Yard Sale, the Sanders County Sailing Event. And we'll have a special interview with a very special bicyclist who is pedaling for an even more special cause. Not to mention a video montage of the entries from the Sanders County Historical Society's 12th annual flower show and garden party held at the Old Jail Museum also last Saturday. We will also be bringing you sights and sounds from the opening day of the Thompson Falls Market held on the west lot of the Falls Motel last Saturday. One of our favorite summertime events. And of course, with all of that, we'll be bringing you your weather with Sanders County's very own Conrad Jenkins. And viewers, don't forget the contest on our show where you can count the number of times we say Sanders County for a gift certificate to Little Bear Ice Cream. Remember, all you have to do is count the number of times we say Sanders County. Yeah, I, I just don't think we say Sanders County all that much in a half an hour. Well, we'd probably say Sanders County a lot. You know, more than we realize. Well, hopefully... One local viewer will realize how many times we say Sanders County in this episode so they can collect their gift certificate to Little Bear Ice Cream. I love giving out those things. It's like handing out happiness. Hmm. And speaking of happiness, it makes me happy when we tell the news. Well then, this show should make you very happy. The largest sale event in Sanders County has drawn to a close, and this annual yard sailing extravaganza is just getting bigger and better every year. Travelers from all over the Northwest made the trek to Sanders County to find treasures and items put up for sale in our area. And organizers say that participation and community assistance was what really put the success of this event over the edge. With well over 70 sales registered from Heron to Hot Springs, many out-of-town shoppers said they would definitely make the trip again next year. Many thanks to Sanders Sailing organizers Bruce and Diane Lauby and marketer... No. Marketeer... Katrina Campbell for making this a roaring success. And many thanks to the registered sailors for taking the time to be involved and give everyone a great reason to come out our way. And last Saturday marked the grand opening of the summer session of the Thompson Falls Market on the west lot of the Falls Motel. Let's take a look at the many booths and goods all made or presented by people you may know.
as an artist, I don't think you could have planned this. No, no God, way. But God as a photographer, <laughs> it's awesome. It is. Linda Elliott rocks. <laughs> Be sure and catch the market every Saturday this summer. Except Huckleberry Festival weekend. Of course. And bear in mind, each weekend has its own special sponsor. Yeah, it's so great that you can do your part and adopt a weekend. Well, weekends need a little love too. So. And many groups, unable to have a weekend of their own, have decided to adopt one at the market. Jeez. You can get everything at the market. Even weekends. There are still weekends available, so if your group or organization would like to save a weekend, this is the market for you. If you'd like to participate in the market, or be a part of the Adopt a Weekend aspect of the market, contact Katrina Campbell at 827-3559, or email her at manager at thompsonfallslodging.com.